intersex fish. Yes, that's fish that have both male and female parts. They have been found in lakes and in rivers in New Jersey. Now, this is according to a U.S. geological survey that just came out. It says that 85% of smallmouth bass and some largemouth bass have intersex parts. Now, what is that? Hermaphroditic? Is that genetically mutated? Tom Cod, like you said, mutating to fit their environment? I spoke to environmental legal expert Bill Wolf, who told me that there's actually more of a concern to humans. The science is focused on the effects of fish and sampling fish and finding out the problems in fish, but it's not looking at the side of the story dealing with how present these compounds are in the rivers that we drink from. Now, I'm no scientist, but I thought maybe I could catch one of these guys and see for myself. So I headed to the Wallkill River Wildlife Refuge in Sussex, but first, I had to get a fishing rod. So I went to Bayonne to a cute little bait and tackle shop and picked myself up a, a fishing pole. Ooh, is it pink? Yep. Awesome. Look at this bad boy. Research expeditions like this are not for the faint of heart. Ah! I am so far off the grid right now. I don't know where the I am. All right, this is way too freaking terrifying. There's like deliverance out here, I'm out. It was not, it was not where I wanted to fish. And then I found the perfect spot on the side of a river. Woo! Oh, that's so not happening. The Department of Environmental Protection, they said that only five fish were taken from this area at the Wallkill River Refuge and that all five tested positive to be intersex. But they said that it's not a large concern for uh, people who go fishing because you're not supposed to actually eat these fish. They're more of a catch and release and that this area is strictly for sports fishing anyways. Now sadly, I did not catch a fish even though I was there all day long. Yeah, I'm sorry little buddies. It was a rough one for your friend. But here's the real question. Do you think the fish sticks would taste any different? Supposedly, they, that these fish don't taste good. It's not about how it tastes, it's the effect. Chocolate is known as the aphrodisiac, right. but this fish is bisexual, so not, I'd like to try bi this. <laughs> <laughs> not bisexual. <laughs> and we're good.